Now, here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's Farm and Ranch News. Last week, a reported closed-door meeting of the nation's leading livestock organizations discussing the state of the cattle markets was rumored to have taken place. Well, late Monday, it was officially confirmed that this unprecedented meeting of leaders of the American Farm Bureau, National Cattlemen's Beef Association, National Farmers Union, RCAF USA, U.S. Cattlemen's Association, and Livestock Marketing Association did in fact meet in Phoenix, Arizona. These groups convened at the request of the LMA to discuss challenges involved in the marketing of finished cattle with the ultimate goal of bringing about a more financially sustainable situation for cattle feeders and cow-calf producers. The groups talked openly and candidly about a wide range of important issues facing the industry today, including but not limited to packer concentration, price transparency and discovery, and more. The Montana Stock Growers Association sees the meeting as an important step forward for the future success of the cattle business. And, and I think it is important, as independent as we are as cattle producers, uh, we have a lot of groups out there, but at the end of the day, we need to focus on a couple of priorities. And I think uh, these groups, as they got together, they did really identify a, a number of issues that Really, we talk about in the cattle industry and on with our neighbors just about every day. The livestock groups agreed to take their respective organizations for consideration these action items, which include expediting the renewal of USDA's livestock mandatory reporting, including formula-based prices subject to the same reporting requirements as negotiated cash, and the creation of a contract library. The second is demand the Department of Justice issue a public investigation status report on its investigation into possible packer manipulation of the markets and, as warranted, conduct a joint DOJ and USDA oversight of packer activity moving forward. The third, encourage investment in and development of new, independent, local and regional packers. Virginia cattle producer Brooke Miller, who is president of the U.S. Cattlemen's Association, was present at the Phoenix meeting. I mean, everybody in that room knew we were at a critical point in our, in our history, our industry's history. And if we want a viable, independent, free market for beef cattle production in not only the United States, but worldwide, we have to make some changes because we have four, four major players that are multinational packers and uh, they care about one thing and that's their profit. And they really, and while Feeders and cattle producers have been going out of business. They've been making record profits. So I think that's what really brought everybody uh, to Phoenix. It yeah. really did. The attending organization representatives were pleased to have reached a consensus on many issues and stated they are committed to the ultimate goal of achieving a fair and transparent finished cattle marketing system. We'll be right back. 